know, at the top of the show, remember we talked about both being aggressive players, server and volleyers. As a matter of fact, we've had several occasions when they've both been at the net. Good shot. That wasn't easy. They both serve and volley Advantage. players and aggressive Average players, slower. but both these players are all court players. If you were playing on a slower surface, that they would both be comfortable at the back of the court hitting ground strokes. Game Navratilova. She is back in the match. Navratilova won the first five games. Navratilova has won the last three. To me, this is the beginning of the match right here. Love 15. That one took some skin with it, I think. Hannah has always tumbled a lot. She seems to slide. There didn't seem to be any reason here, but her, her feet totally gave way under her. She made that last move to her left. Her left foot slides out right there. She really didn't have much surface of the shoe on the ground. That's good. And it's now Love 30. Love 30. One thing you know when a player starts as well as Hannah does, they cannot keep up that rate throughout the match. They got to come back to earth sometime. You just got to hang in there long enough and hope they do it. Navratilova. Love 40. Get her back on serve, believe it or not. <laughs> Tina putting pressure on her on that second serve. Return. Love 15. Oh. 15 all. It hasn't been a question so much of either player missing a lot of shots. It just somebody's knocking it right by That's you all right. the time. Clean winners. Yeah. was not an easy point, an awfully difficult first volley. A tremendous leap for that. She really is having to push it to get that volley in. Watch her high she jumps. 40, 15. 40, well, 15. one point away from getting even at five all, and you could have bet me earlier that this would not be the case. Mm -hmm. When Navratilo was serving at Love Five, five she saved the set point, and then at one for five one, two more set points, and I said, "May not seem important now." Here we are at five all. It does now. Errors. 
love 30. You know, watching that men's match before you, I just had the feeling that Wielander was playing so well that McEnroe had to lift his game so much. And at that point that you're talking about on those set points, it was as if Martina just had to turn on extra power. Yes, Unbelievable good. shot. Yes. Love 40. Three break points. Now all of a sudden, Hanna acts like she's shell shocked. Can't figure out what's happened. Go to the old shoelace. both of them. Yep. And I think uh, that was fortunate for Hanna because the return was awfully good. Oh. Still a break point. See the lunge, a little bit of a swing at that forehand volley. She chose the right way to go, but it was too good a passing shot. Well, it looked as, low, as though Manlikova played an out ball. Looked like the return was going to go long. Deuce. This right there, the court was wide open when Martina missed it. And it's Deuce. Oof. Both players know now this is the real thing before it was so un unexpected. Advantage, Mandlikova. Tennis center is full, the stadium. Ah! It has cooled off just a bit. Martina showing the ball is that far out. Got some paint. That sideline. Sort of a shaky second serve that time by Hanna. A lot of spin, no thrust to it at all. Just missing those first serves, not by more than a hair. It's looked like it's going to go wide. Incredibly, Hannah got it back, but was so far out of position. Martina was shocked to see it come back. It's the fifth break point in this game that Ratilova's had.
five five in the first. It looks as though Hannah's won it with this shot, but look how quickly Martina gets over there. It makes it look so easy and moves so beautifully. Break point number six. Oh. Mamakova only getting 45% of her first serves in. That's not good enough. They're not missing by much. They could start coming in, maybe take a touch off the ball and get them inside that line rather than take the chance. Advantage you know, you can't resist lower. going for big serves sometimes, so what's the point of missing it by an inch? It's so much better to get that first serve, and again, especially against somebody who is going to take no, give you no second chance in the second ball. Break point number seven. Hit right on the line. And the ball hits on the painted line and accelerates. Deuce again. By far the longest game we've had. The first ones were like three minutes a game. Hanna thinks it was out. Here is Joyce Johnson of Bevansville, Indiana. Too difficult to overrule on the far sideline. Eight break point. Oh. You wonder how many times you can let the, the Martina Navratilova have break points on you and keep coming back. I think it's going to be eight times. Neither of these girls wears a sweatband. I think when it's such a humid day, they would need it. In fact, neither does John McEnroe. They don't, Virginia. Our advantage, Mandelkova. I know that Martina doesn't really sweat very much, but on a day like this, you just have to be out there and you're drenched. when you get into a never-ending game finally get your break point or your game point and you can't hit the second ball this is deuce number eight oh. 
overhead smash watched it carefully and after 23 points you just heard perhaps the end of it going over the stadium the first one we've heard all day long you get, this is 15. Just missed. I'm surprised that Martina is serving as much to Hannah's forehand as she is. Maybe trying to cut it into the body a little bit, you think? 30, 15. But she's definitely winning more points, I think, off the, those backhand, the serves to the backhand. Piece. And of course, we'll have a tiebreaker if that happens. Game never to Lova. Six games all. Five, so it's five three. One all on this one. to see Martina not getting herself to the net with her own serve.
to man look over. You must have had a change in the wind direction. But right. The planes are coming out of LaGuardia. Here's a good touch volley by man look over. And when Martina can't get to it and do anything with it, you know it's a good shot. We come back live. Now Ratulova serving at 2 3. At the end of this point, players will change ends. Three all. Most unusual. There goes one of the planes out over Shea Stadium. And here comes one. <laughs> I said it once before they got mad at him, it goes a bunch of lost luggage. situation Three, fully stretched and Martina didn't think it was coming over I don't think you had a play on it anyway and it's 4-3 Manlikova did hit the top of the net and come over for Manlikova. She had three earlier. <laughs> A strange first set. One by Manlikova, 7-6. Here's another look as she closes in, intercepts the volley. And obviously, there'll be planes taking off out of LaGuardia for at least the Thank next you. hour off that runway, and that brings them right over the stadium. Runway 1 3. Ah! And I'm sure to the players as well as to the listeners and those here, that can be very distracting. Let's go to Brent Musburger. All right, thank you very much. I'm with a former great champion, Maria Bueno, who won this U.S. national championship four times, lives in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and Barry McKay was saying that your style is so reminiscent of the way Hanuman Lakova is playing. What have you thought about the match so far, Maria? I think I have never seen Hanuman play so well, like she played in the first five games. It was really perfect tennis. And, uh, but I think Martina, being the champion that she is, you know, she's going to put a great fight. And she, she just showed us, you know, how to get back on a, on a fantastic match. So I think uh, ah, we're going to be 13, in for 15. a really good match. You know, Maria, the last woman in the U.S. Open to beat both Chris Everett Lloyd and Martina Navratilova was Tracy Austin in 1979 when she won the title. Hannah, of course, yesterday upsetting Chris. And now with a chance to do the same thing here. And she's forcing Martina to her second service in this game, but she couldn't handle that. And of course, you played when the surface was clay? Uh, no, I played uh, when it was grass. It was ah, back in Forest, Forest Hill, so I still played on grass, which suited my game very well. And there it is. Maria, thank you very much. Thank you. We enjoyed what are your memories of the way she played? Oh, Maria was my idol. She was such a magnificently beautiful player to watch. 
She won everything. Dino. She was extremely graceful, moved well. And you know, the great thing is now they're using past champions like that to do seminars for the juniors and for the, these young people to try and help them cope with the burnout problem. Rocket like return from Navratilova, who won the first game of the second set. It's 15 all. I just saw Martina tap a racket on a court twice. <laughs> like macro. What does that mean? You're get aced? Better find another signal. Third ace by Mamakova. To come in on a second serve and get that ball so short. Offensive lob Super got her. Yep. Got uh, Martina from defense to offense. To come the men's semifinal between Yvonne Lindell and Jimmy Connors. The winner to play John McEnroe in the finals tomorrow. Some of our viewers don't understand is that tennis players rely on sound, the contact. The sound tells you how well the ball's been hit, whether it's been hit with spin and brushed or hit hard. That tells you whether it's going to get to you quickly or not. So when those planes go over, you see somebody take a full swing at the ball on the serve, you don't know if they brushed it or hit it flat. So uh, that's why it, oftentimes the players will wait until the, the noise is gone. reverberates when they go over you almost shake inside yourself so you really do have to wait just till they pass at least it means that there is a breeze out there which there wasn't earlier it's been here a long time and that's the first time I've heard anything good about it. <laughs> the plane's the coming over, over the stadium. yeah that there's a wind <laughs> Stretch here and the kind of shot she makes. Advantage Martina in trouble. Manicova. Makes a tough shot. Now look at reflex. Backhand volleying position. And we come back live. Advantage Manlakova and ace. Game Manlakova. Fifteen. 
still hot, but it's well down from what it was earlier this afternoon. Just under 100 degrees. 15 all. Fifteen. Again, Martina had to come up with a superb volley. It was a good return from then. I can't help feeling Martina is ex not expecting some of these balls to come back so well. Just Fourteen. Down. Fifteen. She makes look 30, easy. 30. Right? I just thought of the Bob Drum piece that ran a little earlier. If the drummer was way up the top there, he could be telling us whether it was American or United, what, <laughs> what flight number was going over. <laughs> Ends of the court, please take your seats. Tilova Shriver played a night uh, against Hanuman Nikola, Kova, and Wendy Turnbull. Senior men's final was played today. That's an upset. Bob, Bob Lutz, Lutz beating Stan Smith's little doubles partner. Good win for Lutzy. Three one. Seconds. Leads three games to one. A slightly poor service game by Hannah. Not getting enough first serves, and it looks as if a little bit of the sting has got her, gone off her first serve. She could be getting tired against Martini. You have to work so hard, but you do get a little worn out. Fifteen. Those uh, first ten games went by so fast for both. <laughs> you know there weren't many rallies or anything. I think 
when Martina serves that wow. wide serve to Hannah, that the majority of the time she's going to have the first volley to make and probably be, be able to put it away. So you're saying take a little speed off, get more for the higher well, percentage of first ones in? I think she should serve more to Hannah's backhand, but I think she gets so fascinated with all her versatility of serves that she goes for variety. Well, let's go to Brent Bunchberger. Pat, we have just confirmed that Jimmy Connors, a short time ago, suffered a severely sprained ankle while warming up on one of the outside courts. He is now receiving treatment, and of course, he still has to play Yvonne Lindell. They will tape that ankle heavily, but there seems to be little doubt that he's going to be bothered, and he will in that Game match against Lindell. Lindell. Now, Navratilova with the win, Navratilova. and of course, here is our situation with the women's championship drama. And they're ready to play again. Lila Kova serving. Love 15. Tina coming on strong. And Tony, what's your reaction to that uh, news that Brent just gave us? Well, it's terrible news. I mean, it's sad to think that uh, you go out there practicing, getting ready for your semifinal match at the U.S. Open, and sprain an ankle so badly you may not even be able to play. Jimmy Connors is a gamer. He's going to play if he can. I know that. But even if he tries to play and has a badly sprained ankle, heavily taped, he's not going to move very well. So it. it almost kills his chances and who knows we, we we may not see much tennis from Jimmy Connors that's very true and of course uh, Jimmy at 33 who knows how much longer he would be able to play be able to play for a long time but at that level 30, right. and get this far you know it could be his last shot at the title who knows but terrible news even if it's good enough to play today and he won the match right it'd be awfully painful tomorrow Pat O'Brien is checking to see if he can get some more details on how serious the injury is and exactly what the situation is. And we understand uh, now that uh, Connors has said he definitely will try to play. I don't recall ever uh, him having any ankle problems. I know earlier this year he had a default because of a bad lower back. Trainer Bill Norris says, and we quote what the information is to us, that it is not that serious, and if it were serious, we would not send him out there to play. We will have uh, whatever further information we can get. Pat O'Brien gets to as close to the source as he can get. Time. This is some pretty outstanding tennis going on right in front of us. Monlakova is serving at 1 4 in the second set after winning the first one in a tiebreaker. stage of the match when you won the first set and you won for Dan and in a little bit of trouble on your own serve what do you think you should do should you save your energy and start thinking about the third set not if she doesn't feel tired I mean she's physically fit Game there's another service break Navratilova, who now leads 5-1 if you're if you're not tired you, you you know you can afford to expend the energy look at Martina down love five and got it to five all and then six on the tiebreaker so if, if you're feeling leg weary, then yeah, you might uh, let this one slip. sitting down to rest and change overs this and before they had tie breaks there was much more strategy involved and possibly giving away a set if you weigh down because you had to just keep playing and it could go to all lengths of time Thirty. 
15. A little loose. I think she might have been surprised that Martina got that one, that ball back and with something on it. You know, somebody hit a good shot and you figure, hey, that's it. Martina has two set points for this set. It's Martina had to look for the signal, couldn't hear the call, made the volley, then looked over to the lines person. set a piece so this is the third and final set Pat Summerall with Tony Trabert and Virginia Wade at the event you might have just joined us we got the news a few minutes ago that Jimmy Connors who was supposed to play Hi, Yvonne Lindell in the men's semifinal which follows this sprained an ankle when he was working out practicing they say it is not that serious and he is going to try to play Tesh, our man John Tesh just talked with the trainer Bill Norris. He says the ankle, Connor's ankle, did not swell, he is taped, and he is going to play. So that's good news. Players trying to establish themselves at the beginning of this third and final set. It's essential to try to get off to a good start. Oh. Missed it. Game at It's sort of Thank hard you. to concentrate. Planes coming over and some noise and been sort of a, a strange match so far. With tremendous confusion at the end of that second set as people had to stretch their legs a little bit. It's awfully hot and hard on the seat sitting out there. Stadium of the women's final, and it's 30 love. Von Lakova serving. how many moods tennis matches go through at this stage it's fairly calm and 
just tra uh, trudging along, and a little while ago it was all vibrant and exciting, but I'm sure it will pick up again. hit serve paid off you don't know how right you were Brent when you said the hottest ticket in town because it was up over 110 earlier this afternoon hard to get and hard to stay seated Fifteen, love. you also get a few extra friends call you Mm -hmm. U.S. Yeah. Open, two weeks. You know if you got a free ticket or two. Amazing how many friends you have. <laughs> this was really all. the first big Saturday in college football in Auburn. With Bo Jackson having a big day, rumbled all over Southwest Louisiana. Forty-nine to seven. USC beat Illinois 20 to 10. And State over Maryland 20 to 18. That's somewhat of an upset. Boston College over Temple 28 25. West Virginia ruined Howard Schellenberger's debut at Louisville 52 to 13. Wonderful reflexes. A good lob right here. The, the lob is so good that even Martina can't get back and get anything on it on the overhead. Hanna comes rushing in with two hands. Blocks into the open court. We come back live at 30 yards. People in the stadium think the call was in. Four was in. Thirty. All but two, I think. Joyce Johnson confirms that it was out. The umpire and calls it 40-30. You know, I've always said if the seats in the stadium were better place to call the lines and sitting down looking down the line they put the lines people up there strange mood also in the crowd at this moment irritated with herself because she's just missing balls by a little bit she just can't quite get a full grip on this game mostly due to the fact Hannah's playing so well Tony, Martina can't have total confidence in a Grand Slam finals for this in the last three. She's lost two of them. Oh! 40 love. In the Australian Open, she didn't actually get to the final. She lost to Helena Sukova 
earlier. And, and, then the, and then the French, she lost in the final in that tremendous match to Chris Lloyd. But she did win Wimbledon, Wimbledon and she has won a total of 12 Grand Slam titles, including this one twice. She knows what it's like. Well, she has a horse named Grand Slam. Now, Anna's got to be careful. She's starting to act like she's getting robbed all the time. She better concentrate. She's up 40-15, trying to take a 3-2 lead in the final set. That's what happens. You do get bottled, bothered, don't you? Well, if you do, this is what happens. You lose your concentration. That's double fault number four. Still 40-30. And those other calls and things are history. So you got to say, hey, buckle down and do what you have to do now. That's exactly right. See, she's still worried about the call down there from the baseline from two games ago. Deuce. And she just Code gave a point away there. Obscene language. Warning, Miss Vanikova. Code violation for obscene language. Looking for trouble right now. Instead of looking how to hold serve. I can't help feeling that sometimes these umpires are tougher on the women than they are on the men. I mean, she perfectly perfect behavior throughout the entire match well, she apparently oh, used some type of language uh, toward the baselines that uh, yeah maybe if she did it in check uh, she wouldn't have been understood <laughs> Obscene language is universal. Sort of get the message, don't you? <laughs> a little venom in that shot because of a code violation. And Anna thought she'd gotten a couple of bad calls. So we're back live with Martina Navratilova, the defending champion, serving at 2-3 in the final set. Manikova won the first at 7-6. Martina the second, 6-1. Wow, that didn't miss by much. Martina wasn't anywhere near that ball. That's a very deceptive shot. Dirty love. Always a good play. In three set matches between these two, Martina leads 6-3. Last week, the 1984 French Open final. And that was an incredible match, and it was at about 2-all or 3-2, oh, 2-1, I think, in the final set that Hannah really looked as if she had a chance to win. 30-15. A little short blocking forehand that, that Han has used a couple times, I think would be more effective if she just covered the ball, rolled it just a little instead of blocking it flat. Thirty all. Huge point coming up. Backhand return and it's break point for Manlakova. 30 40. <laughs> Woo -hoo. What a tremendous she had missed it. What a tremendous save, though, on the low volley. Deuce. Mike Estep, Martinez coach, pleased with the results there. Boy, that was some low volley. 
Giving it a shot, aren't we? I used your line so we could just shave and it could have had a birthday. Quiet, please. Fifteen love. Bases by Mamakova. Obviously, you know, our allotted time to get off is 7 o'clock. We are assuming that everything is okay with Jimmy Connors go, go, going far past that. And we'll stay with it. Play by 30, both 15. players. They are both excellent at recognizing when they put the other person in trouble. Come forward, get the short ball to the floater, knock it into the open court. Martina's top spin backhand has, has not really been a good shot for her today. Not today. She's dropping the head of the racket a little bit and not getting enough forward momentum and power on the ball and getting under the ball. did it for the first five games of the match, just knock everything right by Martina. Backhands and forehands. Lightning can strike in a hurry. So can Hannah. She'll be serving for the match. 15 40. It'd be hard to get this crowd quiet now. Probably 
really the hardest game in Hannah's life, this, to serve here and get know. good serves in. Our cohort, Tony Trabert, has gone down to MC the presentation ceremonies after it's over. Martina trying to break back. Trying to get back in the match. You might have to wait a few games. You may have to come back. Good serve. Martina's reactions. They're all gritting their teeth. I mean, they are out there fighting tooth and nail. It's been some ap afternoon of tennis already. Out. Another example of what a good athlete she is. Good hands. <laughs> Break point. 30, 40. Oh. Deuce. Martina is just digging so deep right now. She better. Oh, so much adrenaline there. Thank you. As they went out. Serving at 4-5, trying to level things at 5-all in the final set. Been some outstanding match, unusual but great. Hannah looks a little shell shocked at the moment. That was close.
Martina's got more energy now than she had Quietly. has had in the last two hours and two minutes since the match started. Mamakova serving. And a good serve. Fifteen love. Mamakova. That's the play time, the time of the match. Two hours, two minutes. This is the women's final U.S. Open Tennis Championships of 1985. In the event you might have joined us, made it look easy. Navratilova won the next five games of the first set. Since then, it's been a battle. Good servant, Wally. 40 love. Martina wins so many of her matches so easy in, in such a short time. It must be a real thrill to her uh, to be in a tight situation like this. You think so? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Great serve. Jane Manitoba. Six, five. Get even and serving. She's got new balls serving to stay alive. There's one. 15 love. Serving with new balls is, of course, an advantage to the server. Gee, for the first time I saw Martina shaking her Oh, she's uh, waiting for Hannah. But she's shaking her legs out a little bit as well. Trying to stay relaxed at the stage. That would be hard to accomplish. Yeah, your body does all sorts of strange things when <laughs> you're as tired and tense as this, excited. Thirty love. She needs two more points. Yep. Yeah, she should still keep hitting, going for them. That's the way she's been winning the points before. all and we go to tiebreaker Mike Estep the coach looking on on the Cobra will serve one time and then two, Quiet, two, please, two. And first player Thank to reach you. seven if the margin is two is the winner good serve, good serve. now Martina will serve two Reaction. Three, 
zero. She leads three love. Quietly. Quietly. Thank you. Four love. My Makova. U.S. Open Championship at stake, and a check for $187,500. Thank you. Defending champion. Six match points. Ovation for both. Matt. To hit the top of the net. First serve. Many in the crowd thought that was an ace. Just ticked the top of the net. Your tough second serves. A lot of pounding hearts around. Quietly. Whether to go Quietly. for an ace, Thank make you. sure you get your first serve in. I think Hannah hit an out ball, don't you? She had to hit it, but it could have been long. But she hesitated that Six, touch. Two. Vanderpolk. Six two. 